Hi everyone, welcome to the next session of design and drawing of reinforced concrete structure. In last class, we have discussed about the what are the different type of sections we have seen, as well as we have discussed about the what is meant by balanced section, what is meant by under reinforced section, and what is meant by over reinforced section. In today's class, we will discuss about the how we have to analyze any type of singly reinforced section that uh, design steps we will discuss here as well as based on the limiting depth of the neutral axis as well as actual depth of the neutral axis how we can calculate the moment of resistance if you observe here in design and drawing of reinforced concrete structure what we are doing means before constructing of any type of a building or any type of a structure first we are calculating the what are the different types of forces acting on the structure due to this various type of forces the section will may failure maybe by collapse or maybe by deflection or deformation or cracking or flexure shear that means in design and drawing of reinforced construction uh, section uh, structures what we are doing means due to this application of the load to resist that bending or shear we are keeping the structural dimension to the the particular building or the particular structure that means due to application of the load the member will make a deform without deforming the structural member how you are preparing the structure that is the concept of our design and drawing of reinforced concrete structure. First, we have to analyze the what are the different types of loads acting on the building. Due to this uh, action of load, how the section is going to be failure. If the section is not going to failure, what we have to do? That is the concept we are doing here. Uh, if you come to this uh, point, if you see here, I have written some formulas. When XU is less than the XU limit, it will be called as a under reinforced section. Here we are mentioned. That means already we know. When actual depth of the neutral axis will be less than the limiting depth of the neutral axis. The actual depth of the neutral axis, it will be less than the limiting depth. That limiting depth means based on the grade of the steel, we have to give some distance to concrete, we have to give some particular distance to the steel. If this actual depth compared to the limiting depth, it will be less than the section will be called as a under reinforced. Where XU equal to XU limit, that means actual depth of neutral axis will be equal to the limiting depth of the neutral axis, that we will call it as a balanced section. Whereas if you actual depth of the neutral axis will be greater than the maximum depth or limiting depth of the neutral axis, that section will be called as a over reinforced section. In over reinforced section, we are providing more amount of steel due to provision of more amount of steel. The concrete will be, uh, the concrete providing area will be get reducing due to reducing of this concrete area, the load what you are applying on the structure. The load first will be taken by the concrete and concrete will be used to failure first and concrete will give the brittle failure. Due to this brittle failure, the structure will may get collapsed. Hence why for any type of structural design, we won't design the sections as over reinforced sections. That means we are not to provide maximum amount of steel in the concrete. And if you observe here, this is the actual depth of the neutral axis. That means from total compressive force equal to total tang tangential force I have written uh, I have written here. From that concept, I calculated the actual depth of neutral axis. Again, for one, one more time I am writing this. The total compressive force acting in the concrete. The total compressive force acting in the concrete C equal to 0 0.3 into 3, 0.36 into Fck into D into Xu. This is the total compressive force acting on the section whereas the total tangential force acting on the section it will be 0 0.87 into Fy into AST this is the total tangential force acting on the section 
from total compressive force equal to total tangential forces we are can calculate the depth of the neutral axis that means this depth of neutral axis will divide the compression phase as well as tension phase if you observe here x u equal to 0.87 into f y into a x divided by 0.36 into f c k into f c k into b where f y is the grade of the steel we are having different types of grades of steels we are having f e 250 grade steel and f e 415 grade steel as well as f e 500 grade steel where here this 415 250 and 500 will be in a mega pascal that means 415 newton per mm square 250 newton per mm square 500 newton per mm square those are the parameter values for the grades of steel based on this grade of steel based on this area of steel where ast is the area of steel that means the steel bar what we are providing that area we have to calculate these steel bars we are having different type of size of diameters available in the market 6 mm 8 mm 10 mm 12 mm 16 mm 18 mm 20 mm 25 mm based on our requirement we will calculate this area of the steel bar this area how we can calculate means area of the steel ast equal to n into pi by 4 into d square this is the formula for calculation of the area of the steel suppose you are using 6 mm diameter bar for one bar for one bar we are calculating for 6 mm that means if you substitute pi into 0.785 into d square diameter of the bar if you substitute you will get that area of the bar if you substitute the length of the bar we will get the volume of the bar if you multiply it with density you will get the density uh, multiplied with the density you will get the weight of the bar that is the concept in uh, when calculating the problems we will discuss about the two area of steel how we are calculating for different types of grades of steel bars okay again if you check here moment of resistance mu equal to already we are calculated in our previous class due to this application of the total compressive forces and total tangential force we are developing the couple due to the couple the moment it will may form that means force into perpendicular distance the moment will generate in a compression phase as well as the moment will generate in a tangential phase and if you observe here the moment of resistance for a compression phase we are taking it as compression force into lever arm as well as for a tangential force we are taking it as moment of resistance as tangential force into lever arm that means if you substitute if you multiply it with the lever arm that lever arm we are carrying as d minus 0.42 into x if you substituted this value the total compressive force into lever arm we are getting the mu value in the compression phase whereas if you substitute d minus 0.42 into x u you will get the you will get the moment of resistance in a tangential phase you will get the moment of resistance in a tangential zone this is the formula here they given for they given for the moment of resistance for the tension zone if you observe here 0.87 into yeah, yeah. 0.87 into fy into ast where d minus 0.42 into xu is the lever arm distance the lever arm is the distance between the resultant of total compressive forces and total tangential force this formula will discuss will calculating the problems expected problems we are having will deriving that design steps of a problem we will discuss the, in that condition okay this is the formula for when x u less than equal to x u limit x u we are calculating from this formula as well as for x u limit we are having the formula already we know x u limit we are having the formula x u limit equal to k into d where k is the neutral axis constant d is the effective depth for different types of grades of steel the k value it will may vary okay next next come to the one more section what we are doing means in this condition we are taking it as when x u less than the x u limit that means again same concept total compressive force we are taking total tangential force we are taking 
for the balanced section and we are calculating the xu value we are calculating the xu value uh, here uh, there are some more points when we have to take xu when we have to take xu limit i will discuss in the next uh, class that means if you suppose for balanced section for balanced section for balanced section we are calculating the xu value as well as xu limit value we are calculating xu value xu limit value for both to, for three balanced section under reinforced section over reinforced section but while designing any type of a structural member for balanced section while we are designing we have to take the value of xu limit limiting depth of the nodal axis we have to take again if you design the sectional members for under reinforced section for under reinforced section we have to take the actual depth of the nodal axis for over reinforced section sorry for balanced section for balanced section as well as for over reinforced section for over reinforced section we have to take the limiting depth of the nodal axis whereas under reinforced section we have to take the actual depth of the nodal axis why this uh, band section we are taking this uh, xu over reinforced and under reinforced we are taking as xu limit i will discuss in the next class and if you observe here for balanced section i am taking it value as xu limit hence why mu limit i should want to calculate for the compression phase as well as mu limit i should want to calculate for the tension phase that means if you observe here mu limit value it will be for the compression phase already we have we know for compression force we are having moment of resistance as 0.36 into fck into b into xu limit into d minus 0.42 into xu limit as well as for tension zone or tension tension we are having mu limit equal to 0.87 fi into ast where d minus 0.42 into xu limit where here xu is the xu limit value where here xu is the xu limit value that means here i am taking this xu limit for balanced section i am taking xu limit that means limiting depth of nodal axis i am considering suppose if this section is if this section is under reinforced when the section is in under reinforced section i will take the actual depth of the nodal axis for the tension zone as well as for the compression zone this is the limiting moment of resistance for the compression as well as tension when the section is for the balanced condition when the section is for the balanced condition okay next next we are having the over reinforced section in over reinforced section what we are doing means we are providing the more amount of reinforcement that means we are embedding more amount of steel into the concrete due to provision of more amount of steel the concrete area it will may get reducing due to this reduction of concrete area the loads coming on the structure will taken by the concrete first hence concrete will may leads to failure hence why we should not to design any type of sections for over reinforced sections and if you see here m yeah, mu is limited to mu limit that means here section for over reinforced section we are calculating the actual depth of the nodal axis as well as we are calculating the limiting depth of the nodal axis whereas for over reinforced section also we should have to substitute the value of xu limit we want to design we want design over reinforced section but we should have to substitute this xu limit for the limiting depth of nodal axis for the when the section is in when the section is in over reinforced section up to now these are the concept based on the limiting depth as well as based on the actual depth how the moment of resistance we are calculating okay thank you uh, next uh, thank you. okay welcome to the next session in today we'll discuss about the 
how we have to analyze different type of sectional members for analysis of singly reinforced section today we'll discuss that means uh, today we'll discuss about the step by step procedure for analysis of singly reinforced section what i am writing here i am taking it here as design procedure i am taking it as design procedure design procedure design procedure that means they will give some completed design that means uh, they will give the question uh, we are having 230 by 300 mm beam and made of with concrete as m20 grade and grade of steel as fe 250 grade of steel as well as the effective depth of the section is 400 mm and the area of four number of steel bars are used as 16 mm diameter calculate the moment of resistance in the compression as well as moment of resistance in the tension like the problems they will ask in our examination today we'll see about the step by step procedure how they are give the different types of problems the type 1 problem is the type 1 problem is the type 1 problem is calculate moment of resistance the type 1 problem is they will ask about the calculate calculate moment of resistance this is the type of questions they are going to ask in our examination they will directly ask the question about calculate the moment of resistance in compression as well as calculate moment of resistance in a tension zone here what they will do means they will give all type of designed section members uh, that same designed section member depth width length as well as uh, area of steel bars grade of concrete grade of steel all these parameters they will give in the question they will ask only the moment of resistance for compression moment of resistance for uh, tension and if you see here for this design problem what they will give means they will give about the fck that means cap strength of concrete that means m20 grade m30 grade m40 grade they will give that section as well as they will give the grade of the steel that means fe 250 grade of steel fe 500 fe 415 we should have to use or already they are used they will give as grade of steel as well as they will give the width of the section as well as they will give the effective depth of the section as uh, also they will give the area of the steel in some conditions they will give otherwise they will ask to calculate these are the values they will give for the designed problem you should have to calculate only the moment of resistance for compression moment of resistance for uh, tension for this type of problems what we have to do means first step one step one step one step one what we have to do means first we have to calculate the first first we have to calculate the limiting depth of the nodal axis first we have to calculate the limiting depth of the nodal axis that the limiting depth of the nodal axis already we know x u limit equal to k into d this is the limiting depth of nodal axis for any type of sections they are giving if they ask to calculate the moment of resistance the first step what we have to do means we have to calculate the limiting depth of the nodal axis the limiting depth of the nodal axis is we are having the formula k into d where k is the nodal axis constant and d is the effective depth of the beam if you observe i will write one more time about the x u limit value if you take f e 250 grade for fe 250 grade the limiting depth of neutral axis x u limit it will be 0.53 times of d whereas if you take fe 415 grade of steel for fe 415 grade of steel the limiting depth of neutral axis it will be 0.48 times of d whereas for fe 500 grade of steel the limiting depth of neutral axis it will be 0.46 times of D. These are the values you should have to remember for your 
calculation purpose okay from based on this concept we will calculate the limiting depth of nodal axis the second step what we have to calculate means step 2 okay step 2 in second step what we have to calculate means we have to calculate the actual depth of the nodal axis step 2 we have to calculate the actual depth of the actual depth of neutral axis the step 2 what we are calculating means we are calculating the actual depth of neutral axis how we will calculate actual depth of the neutral axis already we have discussed total compressive forces equal to total tangential forces that means total compressive forces equal to total tangential force total compressive force we are taking it as 0 0.36 into fck into b into x u whereas total tangential force we are taking it as 0 0.87 into f y into a s t this is the total tangential force we are taking from this we have to calculate the actual depth of neutral axis that means what we are doing x u equal to 0 0.87 into f y into a s t divided by 0 0.36 into fck into b by substituting these values we can calculate the limiting depth of neutral axis if you see here suppose if the question they will ask this fy grade of steel as 250 then we, what we have to do for fy 250 we have to substitute xu limit equal to k into d where k is the 0 0.53 d is the depth of the value they will give in the problem based on this concept we will calculate the limiting depth of neutral axis again for actual depth of neutral axis how we are calculating again for 0 0.87 that is the numerical value where f y is the grade of steel already they will give on the problem where a s t is the area of the steel that area of the steel we are having the formula n into pi by 4 into d square where n is the number of bars d is the diameter of the bar the values what we are getting here fy ast fck b all are in mm if you take fy it is in newton per mm square if you take area of steel it is in a angle square if you take characteristic strength value it is in a newton per mm square and width of the section as mm these dimensions are this value you should have to remember this is the actual depth of the neutral axis Next, we are having the step number. Next, we are having the step number three. Here, what we are doing means we are comparing the x u and the x u limit. That means we are comparing the actual depth of the neutral axis. We are comparing the limiting depth of the neutral axis. What we are doing means here we are comparing, comparing x u comma x u limit comparing x u comma x u limit already we know how x u we are calculating we know how to calculate the x u limit if you observe here where x u equal to x u limit where x u equal to x u limit in those conditions we are calling it as balanced section where x u equal to x u limit we are calling it as balanced section again where x u is that means actual depth of the neutral axis is less than the limiting depth of the neutral axis in those condition we are calling it as under under reinforced section under reinforced section again if you calculate the section where x u will be greater than x u limit where x u will be greater than x u limit we are calculating as over reinforced section over reinforced section okay over reinforced section these are the concept if x u equal to x u limit balanced section x u less than equal to x u limit under reinforced x u greater than x u limit over reinforced section here both concrete and steel will fail simultaneously hence why no problem to see here steel 
we are providing very less due to less amount of steel this strain will be taken by the steel first hence why steel will fail first which is a ductile failure in ductile failure it will give along, along hence we don't have any problem where in this condition we are providing maximum amount of steel due to providing maximum amount of steel the concrete area is getting re reduced due to reducing of this concrete area the strain stress down in the concrete is more hence why the concrete is a brittle failure structure will may get failure immediately hence why we should not to use this uh, over reinforced uh, section up to now these are the design steps we are discussed in next class we will discuss about the we will calculate about the moment of resistance for uh, compression as well as moment of resistance for uh, tension thank you